Hey guys, it's Elijah Frem. I'm a certified personal trainer and the creator of um, this channel, Straight to the Point, because no one wants to watch an hour long video just to get a simple answer to a simple question. I'm also a case manager for a chiropractor. And in case any of you are wondering, um, you're thinking about um, a career in healthcare, you're not quite sure what you wanna do there, you don't really like the idea of like inpatient care, like in a hospital setting where you're like a nurse, you're running around taking care of, you know, really sick people all the time, right? People that are just out of surgery, um, life and death kind of situations, but you're more into like the preventative healthcare, wellness, fitness, that kind of thing. Um, Chiro being a chiropractic assistant, um, if not being a chiropractor, might be the right choice for you. So obviously being a chiropractor requires quite a bit of schooling. So you've got, um, there are some semi-accelerated um, courses that like um, schools that will combine your bachelor's, and so your undergrad and then your graduate chiropractic degree. And you can get it all done in maybe like six years if you really hustle. Um, but you know, it can take up to eight plus years to get your um, undergrad plus your chiropractic um, degree. So that's a lot of school, right? And a lot of money. And um, so some of you might be thinking like, well, what does a chiropractic assistant do? And um, that's basically uh, what I am now. I'm a case manager. So um, it's that's a little bit different case manager. Um, I'll make another video about what that is. Um, it's kind of a chiropractic assistant that specifically sp specializes on get this managing cases so I'll make another video telling you what a case manager is what different types of chiropractic assistants or um, chiropractic employees would be in their different positions and different roles but just this is just a general idea so if you're thinking about being a chiropractic assistant um, basically a couple of main things what are the prerequisites so at least where I'm at here in Pennsylvania and I think this is pretty much um, nationwide there aren't a lot of prerequisites as far as what you have to have in order to be a chiropractic assistant. It helps to have um, some sort of an education or background in um, health, wellness, or fitness. So maybe a, um, a nursing certificate or degree. A, um, for, for me, I have a, I'm a certif certified personal trainer and a sports nutrition coach. So it kind of gives you a general overview of anatomy, human anatomy, um, how the um, digestive system works and nutrition and so just kind of a general general overview so any of those things is helpful um, maybe to get your foot in the door and helpful so you don't like sound like an idiot for the first year that you're on the job um, but a lot of it is just hands-on training um, hopefully you get in with a with a good team and some good staff and good chiropractors and and um, you know people that are willing to coach you and train you and teach you and and all of that but so there really isn't a prerequisite as far as you have to have this degree or that degree. There are, um, I believe, some chiropractic assistant certifications out there. They're relatively new, um, so they haven't. I don't think they've been around for that long. Um, but they aren't necessary. Again, they're you know any certification or education that you can get in health um, prior to being a chiropractic assistant is going to be helpful. Um, but generally, um, any any of those things would be fine. So if you're thinking. You know, I, I might like to go into the healthcare field, but I'm just not quite sure what I want to do. I like the idea of like maybe preventative healthcare more than um, being in that inpatient setting. You know, maybe go get a certification as a chiropractic assistant or um, get, you know, just an associate's degree or, um, you know, to try it out, right? Get, get a basic level certification or degree in, um, you know, personal training, fitness coaching, wellness coaching, um, right? Any of those things and get your foot in the door at a chiropractor's office and get some hands-on learning and see if that's what you want to do and then you know chances are if if you get your foot in the door and you get a really good job you're working hard um you prove that like you're passionate about what you do you love what you do you um you're you know you're in it to win it um chances are your employer will um train you and or pay for your training and and more schooling if you need it and uh, you'll be able to, you know, hopefully climb the ladder a little bit that way. So, and, and then that might also get you, give you a good idea if you actually want to become a chiropractor, if that's um, an option for you. So I hope this video helps and please remember to like and subscribe for more straight to the point content, content like this. And um, I'll be coming out with another video soon.